And we back! Today we're playing higher or lower to build our team. It's a little bit complicated, but let me explain. So this is the game higher or lower. You might have seen it on the channel before. Where I have to guess between Larry Costello and Buck Williams. Who has the higher career high? I have no idea about the man on the right. I'm going to say Buck Williams averaged the most points. He was 12 and, and so was Larry, but I got that higher. Cool. I'll move on to the next. Every single round is going to start off here. This is our random player generator. We're going to generate three different players. We get Bradley Beal, DJ Arsene, and Dante Burton. I'm going to have to say, hey, today I'm shooting to get Bradley Beal on the team. I'm going to go over here to our random number generator, 1 through 10. And in this case, I have to get four higher lowers right in order to get Bradley Beal. If I don't get four right and I get three or two or one or even zero, then I have to pick the worst player out of the bunch. And I guess at that point is, is Dante Burton who's not even in the game of 2k does that make sense i hope it does be sure to like subscribe let's get into it i'm actually low-key upset that we started off and got bradley beal because i've run this before you know what the higher our odds of getting at least a decent nba player instead of three people we're getting five so i guess scotty barnes miles mcbride stanley johnson J and Jalen. wait hold on oh i'm in the way and Jalen williams that is a really good bunch who am I shooting for? Who has a higher overall in 2K? Scotty, I think, is an 86, and I think Chet might be an 85. So it's kind of like pick and choose. Simulation, Scotty is better in the game in 2K. So I think I'm shooting for Scotty. And if I don't hit, then I end up with Stan the Man or Miles McBride. We have to get two in a row. Thank you. Thank you, Red. And I'm a generator like Scotty Barnes is all but locked. I say all but locked because I still have to go out here and get these done. Kenya Martin versus Reggie, Reggie Williams. Okay. Okay. I do not know a lot about Reggie Williams. If anything, it looks like he's wearing a, a Denver Nuggets jersey. Kenya Martin, 12 points per game versus 12.5. Yeah, I feel exactly how LeBron feels. I needed to get two, and I got zero. So I guess Stanley Johnson, welcome to the ha 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 ha. Welcome to the team. Is that embarrassing? No, because you didn't know anything about Reggie Williams either. So I ain't, I ain't mad at it. Oh, Joel Embiid is here. All right, so we're going for Joel Embiid, and if we don't get it right, we either get Forkon Corkmaz or Tata Washington. I also see Vooch here, middle of the pack. I respect it, but we're going for Joel Embiid for sure. We could have had Scotty Barnes and Joel Embiid, but instead, we might not get either of them. We're getting, we have to get eight in the row. Now, for y'all that have not played this game before, eight in the row is, is a lot. It just is. Whoa! What just, whoa! It's shuffling on me! Should that be happening? Vinny Johnson was called the microwave. Greg Bollard, I don't know nothing about you, so I'm going Vinny Johnson. He only averaged 12. Greg averaged 12. Hold on, hold on. I need a quick reset. I need a quick reset. Because obviously, his name was Vinny Johnson, the microwave. I thought that meant he was getting buckets. Warcon Corkmans, welcome to the team. Ha, 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 ha. And then we get a run like this. Okay, we'll take LP. We'll take LP. I thought this wasn't going to be great. LP just got to upgrade. This is not bad. I just saw these first four names. I'm like, oh, man. LP's a very great player to have. We need this one. We need to get three in a row. I just need to get on the board, first of all. I got zero so far. Wrong basket. You got a terrible score. That's fun. All right, let's get into it. I need three in a row. Hidu Turkoglu versus Chris Paul. Oh, boy. It's got to be Chris Paul. Hidu Turkoglu spent the last year of, years of his career and and um, older in Orlando. Then he went to the Clippers. Chris Paul might not score a lot now, last two years, but he's a good 17.5 point per game score in his career. Wait. What is this? It's total points? Wait, what is this? I thought we was going... Oh, no, 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 no. Something messed up. Oh, we had went to three-pointers. That's fun, but that's not what we're doing. No, that's not what we're doing. We're doing total points. Mookie Blaylock versus Jason Terry. Give me the jet. 13.4 versus 13... <laughs> no, I'm getting trolled. I'm getting trolled. I'm getting trolled. All right, all right. I took a break. I took a break. I had to come back. I had to take a break and come back because I was on the verge of getting nothing right this entire video. And you know what? I'm not, I'm not a guy that will hide it. I will give y'all the content, all right? So let's get back into it. Generate five new players. The best guy here is Derek White. We went from all-star young player who's really good to Derek White who's solid, but he ain't no Joel Embiid or anything like that. So, but but maybe this is what we need to get our, our things going. We need to get one right. The bar is as low as it can get. Rex Chapman versus Billy Knight. See, the problem is, the, the problem is I'm getting people. I don't know Billy Knight. I know Rex Chapman, Twitter legend. But but who is Billy? Who is Billy Knight? I think that my problem has been I would always go with the person I know. Billy, get us Derek White, please. He's a 15 point per game score. Hey, we did it. Derek White.
right, welcome to the team. Oh my God, what a victory. All right, I needed that. I need. I desperately, desperately needed that. The next player we could potentially get is Keldon Johnson, I guess. I see my boy P. Willie, but Keldon Johnson is just better. So let's see how many we got to get. We need three. I'll take three. This is so interesting. Jeff Malone and Michael Rea got buckets in their time. They both got buckets. Who got the most per game? So, so okay. Michael Rea's career ended like kind of abruptly. Like he had like, like multiple seasons in a row where he was injured. You know what I'm saying? And then it was just over. So his, the overall point per game, I'm thinking in my mind might be lower because he spent multiple years just being injured. But when he was playing, was he good? Ah, uh, Jeff Malone. Let's go with Jeff Malone. It's 19.4 versus 19.3. Bro, they are trying to trick me up. Oh yeah, Jeff Malone gets this one too. Dennis Rodman was not averaging no 19 points per game. We need one more in order to kill Keldon Johnson. Danny Manning is beating Dennis Rodman in points per game. We got it. All right, we're on a roll now. We're on a roll. Ben Gordon. Big Gordon, the only rookie to win six man of the year in the history of basketball. It ain't you though. It would have been you. But I already got I already got him. I already got Kelda Johnson. Oh, Jokic is upset. That's good work. That's good work. We're gonna get on the next one on Yaka Congo. <laughs> we were getting so lucky with really, really good players. Shout out to Double O. But he again, he ain't no Joel and B. We need to get 10 in order to get in Yaka. All right, I I'll try. Let's see if we can get all the way to 10. Uh, this, these are the ones we don't think about. We already know that we got to get a crazy number. The likelihood of us getting it is not very high. Oh, Alvin was more of a defensive oriented player. So yeah, go with the gut. Go with the gut. Don't think twice. Just go. Ray Allen. Don't think twice. Just go. Go get the players. Go get Ray Allen versus Earl the Pearl Monroe. Give me Earl the Pearl Monroe. It's the same. Okay, we would have won regardless. We need six more. Fat Lever? Was Fat up to 18? I don't think he was. He wasn't. Come on, man. We need five more of them things. Ralph Sampson ended his career early because of injury. We need four more of them things. Um, Sydney Mon Sydney Moncrief. Yeah, we take those. Three more to go. Three more to go. Tommy Heisen, Mr. Celtic. Thank you. Oh my God, we're on a roll. Two more. Just, just uh, Mr. Celtic. We need one more. We did all of this for Nyeka Congo. We couldn't get two. Terry Cat Catledge. Who the heck is Terry Cat? Terry! Catledge, we got 10 for Nyaka for Nyaka Congo. So that's that is a crazy amount of work to get done for a backup big, but a win is a win. That is a win is a win. The next player we're gonna get is gonna be Jeremy Grant. All right. I mean, we're getting good role players slash starter caliber players for the most part. We haven't had one run that was like, oh, all oh, five of these players are no longer in the league. We only gotta get five. And I'm saying only because I'm locked in. We got Sean Kim versus Jerry Lucas. Give me Jerry Lucas, please. Um, okay, barely, barely gets there with Jerry Lucas. Mike Baby versus Jerry Lucas. 16 seems like a little bit much for Mike Baby. Cool, two for two. Number three is going to be Dwayne Wade. See, when you get a player like Dwayne Wade, you get an all-time legend. These are basically layups. Unless you put him against Allen Iverson. Who averaged? Because, again, I'm thinking about it like this. Even Dwayne Wade's last season, he went out there getting his shots up. AI obviously had like 30 point per game years. And they could, I'm going Allen Iverson. And I, oh, oh, I didn't even have to think about it. 26 points per game, Allen Iverson. That's the layup. Boom. Pete Maravich is close. We needed five. We got five. Um, shoot. I could keep going. I could keep I could keep going. Matter of fact, I'm going for a new career high without even thinking. Boom. Kiki Vandeway. Okay, that ends at six. Well. We do end up getting Jeremy Grant. I think that's three or four in a row. We got the actual player we wanted. I need more of that. And this is a run that I'm talking about. I knew it was coming where you're going to get five players that is just like, okay, Chris Boucher, that's the best player. Chris Boucher. In order to get Chris Boucher, we only need to get one right. So he'll roll. He's a role player. He'll play his role. At least I hope. I'm not going to act like I ain't had my, my hiccups here, though. You know? Alex Engel. Oh, whoa. A Bill Russell versus Allen Iverson. Thanks. Thanks, AI. The, the first one was harder than this one. We'll, we'll take it. Allen Iverson helps us get... I forgot already. I forgot who that was. Oh, it was Chris Boucher. Chris Boucher. Star player, star player, star player, star player. No way. Trey Jones. We need to get four. Bob Danridge versus Ralph Sampson. Give me Ralph, please. Bob scored a lot of points, though. Uh, Okay. We missed out on Trey Jones. whoop de do? It wasn't like he was about to come in and be a game changer. I mean, we don't really have any point guards, but whatever. We only get five more runs. Michael Porter Jr., Nicholas Claxton, Yusuf Nurkic. I'm going to go for Nicholas Claxton. In order to get Claxton, we need eight in a row. We can do that. We've been there before. Eight in a row for Claxton. 
Monte Ellis, thank you. 17 points per game versus 15. That was a lot closer than I anticipated. Monte's one of them guys, but you know Kobe's got one of the highest career highs. So, yeah, Kobe versus whoever. Give me Kobe. Bob Davies, who? His picture's in black and white, and he played for the Royals. The Royals ain't been around in forever. Give me Michael Thompson, please. I was wrong. Former first overall pick was an average of 14 points per game. So I guess we walk out with Miles McBride. Would I rather take Grayson Allen? Would I rather take LaMelo Ball? Give me LaMelo. So we need four. Okay, four. Stat versus Jim Jackson. Oh my God. Why do they keep giving me super tough? Give me stat. I'm not thinking twice. 18 points per game versus... Okay, 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 okay. That was not as close as I thought it was going to be. Daryl Dawkins versus Stat. I'm going to take Stat again. Daryl Dawkins only averaged 12 points per game. How many do we need? I think we need five, six. I forgot already. Robert Parrish. Mm, Hall of Famer, but mostly known for his defense more than anything. Was Rob averaging 12 towards the end of his career? I'm going to take the 12 of Rob. All right, so it's 14 and a half. We need him versus Bill Lambeer. Give me Rob. Bill was not getting 15 points per night, baby. We here. Jerry Wise, the logo, 27, 27, like that's easy, him versus Dennis Rodman, get, come on, we gonna keep going, we just gonna keep it right, we gonna keep it right, we got LaMelo on the team, Paige Stoyakovich versus Dennis Rodman, give me Paige, 100% of the time, shout out to Paige, Paige Stoyakovich versus Steve, uh, Stevie Franchise, give me Stevie Franchise, please, thank you, Stevie, all right, all right, we're rolling, Dominique Wilkins is in the high 20s, yeah, Dominique, you know, we got to 10 before. We might get up to 40. That's how confident I am in my run right now. Ralph Sampson versus Elton Brand. Okay. For some reason, 10, 10 is like our max. But that does give us LaMelo. So right now, our best players are La <laughs> LaMelo, Jeremy Grant, Yekka Kongu, Kelvin Johnson. Can we get another star? Devin Booker. Beautiful. All right. We need a backcourt of Devin Booker and LaMelo. In order to get Book, we need five in a row. We've been there. We've done that. Shaquille O'Neal versus Sam. Give me Shaquille O'Neal 23 points per game. Shout out to Sam. He had a good career and everything. May he rest in peace. But he he won no Shaquille O'Neal. Chet Walker, shout out to him. He also had a really good career. He's not no Shaquille O'Neal. 18.25. Uh, Dick Van Arsdale. I don't think he was getting up to 18. He wasn't. It was close. But he wasn't. We really need to lock in Danny Ainge. I do not. Danny Ainge was a baseball player. I do not believe Danny Ainge averaged 16 points in his career. Give me Van Arsdale. Thank you. Okay, great, 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 great. Do we need only one more? Oh, man. John McLaughlin. I'm pretty sure I recognize him from 2K19, my team. And he had like an amethyst car. They wasn't get. They was giving amethyst to everybody. No, never mind. I'm still going with it. And I, oh, by point one, by point one, we only need a five, right? Yes, we did. We only need a five. Um, LaMelo and Booker is our backcourt. All right. Well, this is not perfect, um, but we do have quality players here. I, I'm taking Paolo Bencaro. I'm, I'm hoping to get a center at some point. We don't really have a center. We have a lot of fours. Now, we do get to make trades and stuff, but... Paolo, actually Paolo makes the most sense because we are doing trades, right? So he can have the most value, but that's, that's what we got to think at. And if we don't get this right, then we end up with Isaiah Mobley or Busy, I guess. We need a total of nine right for Paolo. Oh my God. All right, let's get there. Oof. We just had Al, Al too. I don't remember what his number was at, but I'm going to say for the sake of him being a guard slash wing versus James Edwards, who was a big, I'm taking him. It's 14 versus 12. Oh my God, that's way closer than I wanted it to be. Tony Parker's higher than 12. Not by a lot, but we'll take Tony Parker. Okay, okay, okay. Glenn, um, big dog, Glenn Robinson is up there at 20. I didn't realize it was 20 now, but I knew it was higher than 15. We're going to take that 20. Come on, we need to get up to nine. I think it was. We need to get up to nine. Uh, Bill Bradley versus Byron Scott. Bill Bradley. Did he make it to the hall? I think he made it to the hall. I think he made it to the hall. If he's not in the hall, he's hall adjacent. I'm going to take that. I'm going to take it. 14. Ah, we fumbled. We fumbled. All right. Well, we have been on a nice little streak of getting them right. I guess we, we got Bismack Biombo. All right. We need to keep going. We need to keep going. We need a couple more. Let's go. This time around, there's Claxton again. All right. We'll, we'll try to get Claxton for the second time. We need to get seven for Claxton. These higher numbers are going to be the death of me. We can get to seven. KG versus a lot of people. K wow. I honestly thought KG would be like low 20s. Ricky Pierce, I'm taking KG. All right, all right. Ricky Pierce is at about 15-ish. Going to, yeah, We just saw Big Dog was in his 20s. There we go. There we go. These are layups because we know that 20 is really high, and it's going to be hard to beat 20. Okay, so we need to get a couple more. 16. We saw Vinny was not that high. Eddie Johnson, welcome. Welcome, Eddie. 
So Vinny's 12 versus Bill Cartwright. Okay, all right. At one point in time, Bill was actually really nice. Was he 12 points per game nice for his entire career? Not his peak. 12 just feels like such a low number, bro. It feels like such a low. I'm going with Big Bill Cartwright at 12. It was 13.2. Whoo! All right, 13.2 versus Ben Gordon. I'm taking Big Gordon at 15-ish. That gives us Nicholas Claxton. Jalen Rose. Well, Jalen Rose probably 12.8 would be my guess. All right. I was wrong, but I was right. I'm just spamming it. This is our very last one. We're gonna. My eyes are closed, by the way. We're gonna wait. Am I still spamming? Okay. I'm gonna stop in three and two and one. Donovan Mitchell is here. All right. It's either Donovan Mitchell or Josh Min Minot. Or Gorgie Zhang or Noah Bonley is one of those guys. Donovan Mitchell, come on. Please give me a one to end it. It's a two. Woo! Let's go, Dotto. We need to give me Mike Baby to start off with a 14.7. We need one more Mike Baby versus. Give me some easy. Should this be easy? If I feel like this should be easy. Kevin Johnson at 17. Wow. Larry Bird is here. Hold on. We're gonna keep it going. Can I get can I get one more? I'm trying. I'm going for one more, but it has to be a ten. How about that? I'm spamming again. I'm spamming again, and we stop it now. Or how about forget the spamming? If I could get to fifteen, I get Jokic. Does that seem fair? I'm trying it. Fifteen to get to Jokic. Dan Issel, come on, come on. We don't think twice about these. We just go for the. We just go for the win. We just go for the win. Dan Issel versus Larry Hughes. Shout out to Larry Hughes, but no, we get Dan, we get Dan Issel. Larry Hughes is fourteen points per game versus Michael Jeffrey Jordan. You know exactly what this is going. Michael Jeff Jeffrey Jordan with the highest point per game average of an entire career. It's going to be Michael Jeffrey Jordan at thirty. We need to get uh, eleven more. Jason Kidd is not at eighteen. Thank you. Come on, Chet. Chat the second chat or the first I guess technically the first chat in NBA history. There we go. Neil Johnston. Don't know you, but I knew you was probably higher than 12. I'm taking your 19. Dang. John Williamson. I have no idea. Don't know him. ABA player for the son of his career that ended up playing for New York and then Indy, then New Jersey, then Washington. Never was an all-star, but he has some 20 point per game seasons in here. I respect it. I respect it. Well, you saw a team. Let me put it together and try to go turn it into an 82-0 roster. Look at this team. I mean, on, on paper, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. LaMelo's, oh yeah, because Book is now on PG. E, I forgot about that. I just edited this video and realized I forgot to put Donovan Mitchell on my team. So I just made it even harder for myself. A, a plus content. Um, on paper, this team ain't bad. It ain't bad. Is it great? No, but it ain't bad. Uh, we need to make some changes for sure, for sure. I love our backcourt though. I love our... Why is it look like Devin, Devin Booker has mascara on? Am I bugging? They're like, he got mascara on. Um, we can make some changes, though, to, to make this team better. Like Jeremy Grant's big old contract with the youngness of Anyeka Kongu and a first-round pick can get us Alperin Shingoon. I actually kind of just want Alperin Shingoon by himself. Um, and now I'm realizing that that might be just a little bit difficult. You know, you, could get, you give us back Victor Oladipo, and then we give you back how much money? Two million dollars. Okay, okay. So we give you back four con cork mass contractual. Everything works. Give me your counter offer. They want a 2028 for Alperin Shingon. Welcome to the team, Alp. Oh, welcome to the team. All right. So we got that done. Uh, now we can use Jeremy Grant's contract, which is 27 million. We pair that alongside Trey Jones and this first round pick that again was valuable. Maybe a little bit less valuable now. Yep, it's only two star now. Dang. There's Jalen Brunson. We don't need another point guard, but I might pull that trade off for the value that is Jalen Brunson, not Jalen Brunson himself. So boom, Jalen Brunson's now on the team. Good contract, 28 million. I also just remembered that we had Nicholas Claxton on the team already. So I'm gonna flip Clax. I don't want to, but I just traded for Alperin Shingun. The market is cool. The market is cool. We can maybe figure something else out. We can maybe figure something else out. All right, let's, let's take a look. We need a wing. We need a really good wing. Let's take a look at the teams around the association that can provide that. You know, we got like a, a PG-13. We got a, a Jalen Brown, a Jimmy Butler. If we want to go shooting guard that can convert over to small forward, it's not a lot of them. Most of the top shooting guards in the league are kind of undersized. If we want to go, a, like we want to go get LeBron. You think we can go get LeBron? He's a, a 96. Don't get me wrong. I know that's going to be an expensive guy to get, but he's also 38. So, like, I I believe that we might be able to get him. Now, if I go reverse trade, find it, they're going to say, give me Devin Booker. Or they just want LaMelo. Or there's the Devin Booker trade. Interesting stuff for Braun. Interesting, interesting stuff. I am going to say yes because I feel like I can get LaMelo back. I'm saying yes. Welcome to the team, old man. And we make you a small forward. Now... 
can we use Jalen Brunson and Claxton in order to get him back? That's what my mind is that uh, he's only making 10 because his contract doesn't kick in the next year. But we, we could make it work. They got some big old contracts like um, we'll take Chris Boucher back, who was just a part. Nope, his money doesn't work. We'll take back D'Angelo Russell. Nope, his money doesn't work. Okay, we'll take back Keldon, <laughs> bring back Keldon. And then this is where we give up like all of the picks we got. It still might not be enough, but at least we could kind of get a, a frame of reference of what the Lakers are thinking about. They say no, even with the second, they still say no. All right, okay, that's fine. I think, boom, here's the deal. Ah, we gave the back Jared Vanderbilt. And just like that, we got LeBron, Devin Booker, and LaMelo Ball on the same team. Devin Booker's our two. Now we need a four. We need a four man. Right now we got Kelda, who's, who's tough. We also got Mitch Robb off the bench. And I don't hate that because his contract is small for, for his production. At just $15 million, that feels like a steal. We're probably flipping Keldon again for this power forward, though. You know, he has played power forward in his career before. Um, or we could just move LeBron back over to the four. Uh, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out, as we always do. Let's do it. Bring bring Draymond in to play alongside LeBron. You know they've been wanting to play together forever. Or at least Draymond been wanting to play on LeBron's team. I don't know if LeBron can keep that same sentiment. But we still do have Derek White, who's going to be one of the best players off the bench. We still have Mitch Robb, who's going to be one of the best bigs off the bench. The problem with Mitch Robb, though, after doing all of these videos for this long, um, one thing I know about Mitchell Robinson is that he typically gets upset if you don't give him the adequate amount of play or the adequate amount of touches. So part of me wants to probably flip him a little bit because I might be able to get somebody that won't be upset about his PT and stuff. So let me test it. But like as backup power fours go, again, it don't get much better than him or backup centers. I mean, Malcolm Brogdon and Robert Williams, welcome to the team. We low-key got the Celtics from last year, Malcolm Brogdon, Derek White, and then Robert Williams. Rob also is a player um, that, you know, gets upset. So I'm just testing waters as we should. You like this trade. Jalen Duran is a high overall. I don't know if he'll be upset. I haven't had him on the team enough to know. So we'll ride with Jalen Duran as that backup. At the backup four and the backup three, they need a lot of help. So that's what we're going to use Monte Morris for, get some backup wing play because we don't need three good point guards. You know, we can throw him to another team where he can get real minutes because he won't go get real minutes on this one. Nas Reed. Nas Reed. Speaking of Nas Reed, um, I have a podcast named the Kenny Beats Podcast. Nas Reed was just on it. The link is always in the description, by the way. Um, so if you ever wanted to listen to the podcast, we be having NBA guests. We had him, Grant Williams. I got another one I'm filming in a couple days. I can't spoil you just yet. But the Kenny Beats Podcast is a real thing, and it's, it's lit. Spotify, Apple, links are in the description. J just, just in case you wanted to see a Nas Reed interview held by yours truly. I I'm just saying. I'm always going to promote my podcast because you know what? I love my podcast. We have a lot of fun filming it. Um, and I put a lot of effort into it. So I just want y'all to, to put it out in the world and for other people to enjoy it. So right now, this is what the thing looks like. We don't have a backup small for it, um, but we can make that happen, of course. It only, he ain't got to be good. He just got to be a small four. We got Leonard Miller in that trade. He might have a little bit of value across the league, at least enough to get a role player, right? I mean, I guess it's a really good get. All right, there we go. Now we have a full 10-man rotation, and I feel really good about it. I'm also... A little bit crazy, Draymond, so I'm going to try it. Some interesting stuff, but nothing ultimately that's going to make me want to switch up. First game of the season, OKC Thunder. Yeah, you're going you gonna to catch this L. We got playmakers, bro. We got four. We got four. Our entire star lineup is pure playmaking. Like, come on, man. We're going to share the ball like no other on this team. Why did I let this man win at number 42? 42? Yeah, that's, that's just wrong. That's just wrong. Um... I don't have anything else to say. We did not go 80 to 0. You probably expected that. But the 40, 40. No, I'm actually, I'm changing it right here, right now. 42. There's no way we win a championship if LeBron is wearing a number 42. You know what I'm saying? What what number can we get him? Oh, six is retired in Chicago. Obviously, 23 is not. Um, he, he better, I don't know. Uh, 32. Forget it. Forget it. Just flip him. Just flip it. Because anything's better than 42. Anyway, first round, we're going against the Atlanta Hawks. Um, same team. We have LaMelo better. We have Book better, better, better. better. Oh, yeah, yeah. Four-game series counted. Milwaukee or Toronto, get ready to see us. Oh, we, we lost. Oh, oh, we're down. Mm. Okay. Braun. Uh, maybe I should have let you keep the number 42 because you were the best man in the in the world which you, when you had it. Now, not so much. Dr Dr Draymond, Shin, Shin Goon's averaging nine. His shot tendency is really low, I, I'm assuming. Uh, no. Wow. I mean, we just have a lot of scores. Like, you know, Devin Booker's going to score. 
And then LaMelo's going to sometimes score. We're down 3-2. Thank you. Game seven. We win. All right. All right. All right. We, we tell LeBron, thank you for the triple-double. Thank you, Devin Booker, for almost having a triple-double. Now we're going against Milwaukee. Milwaukee's tough. Milwaukee's tough. Um, We have Draymond Green. Hey, Draymond Green can guard Giannis. Maybe. We'll see. Um, can't nobody guard Braun on 18. Um, so g game one, game two. Oh, okay. The Atlanta Hawks going to be the one team that's, that make us struggle. Philly's next. I love to see simulation Philly be successful. You know what I'm saying? No James Harden, no problem. Game one is a win. Game two is a win. We are four games away. Four games away from a championship. And the Lakers almost got here without LeBron, by the way. It's uh, Jalen Brunson, Anthony Davis, and Nicholas Claxton. That's not bad. I mean, yeah, LeBron. But, like, if you were going to get rid of LeBron, that's not a bad roster. They got too many bigs, though. Between V8, uh, he don't wear the number eight no more, so I guess I can't call him that. But um, Nicholas Claxton, Christian Wood, Anthony Davis. There's a lot of big men on the roster. The Kings, well-balanced team. Shout out to De'Aaron and Sabonis, the Ox and the Fox. But watch this be a four-game series, and it's a wrap. Boom! Four-game series. LeBron James gets that another MVP and a triple-double in the finals. Are you going to retire on us, Bron? Yep. Are the Bulls going to retire your number based on one year? Nope. Because what do you retire? 40, you retire 42 or you retire 32? I don't know. You enjoyed it. Leave it a like. Subscribe. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace.